Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to Monks in the Morning from Colombo Dhamma Friends of Mahame Onawa. The monks here are so happy to get to spend time with you now. When we're with each other, we get to learn all sorts of things that help us to be better people. This is important to remember when we do bad things. No matter what, the Supreme Buddha reminds us that we can give up doing bad things by following his teachings. And when we spend time with good people like this, we naturally start to give up these bad behaviors and develop good behaviors. Today, we'll learn more about the Supreme Buddha's Vidya Charana Sampanno quality. Let's begin the day by going for refuge and taking the five precepts. Before we take the five precepts, we should think back about any precepts that we may have broken since we took them the last time. It's really good if we can tell our parents if we have, but even if we feel too shy to do that, we can still make the decision right now not to break those precepts again. So think for a moment if you've broken any precepts, and then we'll take them again together. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Say together with me. Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas. Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas. Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi saṅgaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Dutiyam pi buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi dutiyam pi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi dutiyam pi saṅgaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyam pi buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyam pi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyam pi saṅgaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Sādhu, sādhu Sadhu. Now to observe the five precepts, say after me, say loudly. I observe the precept of abstaining from killing beings. I observe the precept of Abstaining from stealing, I observe the precept of abstaining from sexual misconduct. I observe the precept of Abstaining from telling lies. I observe the precept of abstaining from taking intoxicating drinks and drugs. I follow these precepts for happiness in this life, 
for a birth in heaven and to realize the four noble truths in this gautama buddha's dispensation sad 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 parita chanting Ratana Sutta, The Jewel Discourse. If you have a copy of the chanting book, turn to page 19. Today we'll chant in Pali with the monks from Pogahuela, starting with the invitation to the devas. Now let's chant together. Samanta Chakravalesu Atra Gachantu Devata Saddhammam Muniradas Sunantu Saddhamukhadam Parita Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Parita Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Parita Dhamma Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu Namo Tass Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Tass Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambuddhasa Yani Dragutani Samagatani Brummani Vayani Vantalikhe Sabbeva Bhuta Sumana Bhavantu Atopi Sakkacca Sunantu Bhasitan Tasmahi Bhuta Nisamitra Sabbe Mittan Karotha Manusya Pajaya Divacharatto Chaharanti Evalin Tasmani Nerakhat Appamatta Yankinchi Vittan Nidhavahuramva Sakke Suvayam Ratanam Panitan Nano Samanmati Tathagatena Idampi Buddhe Ratanam Panitan Eten Satchen Suvatthi Otu Khayan Viragan Amatan Panitan Yadajjaga Sakya Muni Samahitu Naten Dhammen Samadhi Kinchi Idampi Dhamme Ratanam Panitan Eten Satchen Suvatthi Otu Yang Buddha Setro Parivan Rai Sujin Samadhi Manantari Kanya Mahu Samadhi Naten Samon Vijjati Idam Pidham Me Ratanam Panitan Eten Satchen Suvatthi Otu Yepukkala Atra Satan Pasatta Chattari etani yugani vanti Te dakhineya sugatasya savaka E te sudhindani mahapalani Idampi sangi ratanam panitam E te na satche na suvatthi otu Ye supayutta manasadalvene Nikkāmi no gotam sāsanam hi 
namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse homage to the blessed one the worthy one the supremely enlightened one sadhu 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 namo buddhaye meritorious children these days we are learning the buddha's great qualities and recently we learn the buddha's third quality the buddha's vijja charana sampanna quality so vijja charana sampanna means the buddha lived according to the knowledge he gained knowledge he developed in life so he had no regrets in his time period of the buddhahood from the day he became a buddha on the age of 35 years he became a buddha and until he passed away until until he attained the mahaparinibbana until the age of 80 years he lived according to the knowledge he obtained in life so children we are very fortunate to learn these qualities and to have a happy mind to develop those qualities in our lives as well at least to a certain extent so dear children the blessed ones virtue was unequal to others the blessed ones concentration wisdom was unequal to others only buddha's qualities could be only equal to another buddha so imagine when you think of the buddha you are thinking of a person you are thinking of a unique person in this world buddha had unique qualities so one day when the blessed one was meditating it was thundering and lightning and some cows died from that th- thundering but then blessed one was not disturbed by the thundering or the lightning why his mind was concentrated his mind was concentrated now our minds are agitated that's why very fast we get frightened and scared it's difficult for us to concentrate on something when when you all try to pay attention to the teachers when they teach you your mind goes to other places why the mind is not concentrated the mind is agitated so the blessed one had a calm mind his concentration was unequal to others so blessed one he was chief in wisdom the blessed one wisdom was unequal to others only to another buddha that wisdom can be equal so blessed one when monks came to the blessed one when they came and told their problems the blessed one knew the reason for their problems for an example one day some monks came to meet the blessed one on their way on their way when they were coming to meet the buddha they were blocked in a cave they went to rest inside the cave but all of a sudden a huge rock came from the top of the mountain and closed the cave and rock a rock fell from the top of the mountain and blocked their cave so the monks had to suffer for 7 days inside the cave without food so after 7 days without a external force without the people's effort whoever the people outside without moving it automatically the huge rock was rolled away and then the monks were able to come out from the cave but they were fainted they were star they starved for 7 days finally they found food and they ate and they got energy and then they visited the buddha and they and the monks told the buddha what happened on their way to meet the buddha then the blessed one said dear monks this is a fault this is a mistake this was a mistake by done y'all this was a mistake done by y'all in a previous life this mistake was y'all chased a iguana a small animal and that iguana has gone inside the hole and you'll have covered that all of you all have got together and done that bad deed 
and after seven days you remember that iguana and then you open that hole and and then when you saw that iguana he was fainted it was fainted but then when then you felt sympathy on that iguana and then you did not kill that iguana and you took him out that's why you were not killed in the inside the cave that's why you survived because you did not kill the iguana so it was done together with these seven monks in a previous life so buddha had the ability to see other people's mind their past lives so when these stories were said to the monks they got scared to go in this endless journey of sansara endless journey of births and rebirths then they meditated and calmed their minds too they concentrated their mind so buddha with a concentrated mind he was able to see the past lives of other beings when some monks had difficulties memorizing stanzas buddha taught wonderful solutions for them there was one monk that monk couldn't memorize a stanza then buddha gave a nice cloth and told to wipe something then while he was wiping that object with a cloth then he understood the impermanence nature why the cloth got untidy so the way that buddha helped monks we can't think of it children just imagine if you we were born during a time where buddha was alive buddha could see our minds and preach the exact dhamma that we might need that we need but today we have to learn dhamma again and again and again and find solutions from the dhamma and keep on learning dhamma to find a way to escape from suffering sometimes you know you might do metta bhavana today then in next week you might do buddha anusati then on the following week on then on the following week you might do meditation on death recollecting the death so but during the buddha's time buddha gave the exact advice should be given to a person and after practicing that for a short period monks were became monks became arahants lay people also became arahants so just imagine the protection that you get from the buddha so vidya charana sampanna means children you should remember that buddha was endowed with these great qualities and being endowed in these qualities he preached dhamma to others if he was not endowed in these qualities he won't be able to preach dhamma to other people so just imagine how much buddha had to sacrifice his life to become a buddha even in previous lives he meditated so as a result of meditating as a result of calming the mind and as a result of developing many wholesome deeds buddha were able to obtain these great qualities like vidya charana sampanno not only that children the buddha from his great ability to see the nature of past lives he saw that we have cried when our mother passed away we have cried more than the four great oceans then buddha saw that when in our past lives when we were born as animals when we were born as goats cows and when we were slaughtered the blood that we have shed is more than the four great oceans more than the more than the water in the sea so if buddha did not reveal these things we would never give priority to practice dhamma so buddha saw these past incidents in our lives with the help of vidya charana sampanna quality so we wholeheartedly bless you to realize the four noble truths by knowing the vidya charana sampanna quality and by recalling the buddha's vidya charana sampanna quality namo buddhaya teri gata verses of arahant nans in the past i was extremely beautiful and fit i was intoxicated by all the luxurious comforts around me i was self absorbed and conceited i despised other women back then i decorated my body 
with beautiful ornaments, having dressed in a way that foolish people praise. I would wait at the corner of the street like a deer hunter, having placed a trap. I used to wear seductive clothing. I did various sorts of tricks to attract men. Foolish men fell easily under my spell, and I lured them towards me. But now, as a nun with a shaved head, wearing robes, I live depending on food from my alms round. I spend my time meditating under trees. My mind is well concentrated. I have cut off all ties that lead to rebirth as a human or a god. I have destroyed all taints. I have become cool and quenched. These verses were said by Arhat Nun Vimala. If you'd like to listen to more teachings from the Arhat Nuns, go to serenecolombo.org slash radio and click on the show notes. There you'll find a link to a free audiobook that you can download, as well as information on where you can get the printed book. I'm so happy we were able to spend time together today. We hope that you learned something new, and we really hope that you can use what you learned as you go about the rest of your day. Do you like to draw pictures? Because the stories that we're learning these days are very beautiful and would make nice pictures. If you like, you could draw a picture of the Supreme Buddha meditating during a thunderstorm, or those monks who got trapped in a cave, or the monk Chulapantaka rubbing the white cloth. This could help you remember what you've learned, so when you try to recollect the Supreme Buddha's vijjajcharana sampanno quality, these stories come easily to mind. And if you do draw some pictures, be sure to send copies to the monks. We love to see what you're learning. Now let's share merits. Today, in this short period of time, we've done many wholesome actions. We've gone for refuge, You've taken again the five precepts. We recited the Ratana Sutta. We listened to this sermon with these beautiful stories on the Supreme Buddha's Vidya Charana Sampano quality. And we listened to verses from an Arahant Bhikkhuni, from the Teri Gata. So, when we do this, we like for others to rejoice in the good actions that we've done. So may all heavenly beings, may our teacher, Lokusoya Hangsa, all of our teachers, our parents, our relatives, our friends, may they all have happy minds recollecting these wholesome actions. May they have long life, good health, strength, beauty, happiness. May they soon experience the supreme bliss of Nibbana in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sad, sad, sad. Namo Buddhaya.